Hi everyone, welcome to Online Storytime presented by the Children's Librarians of the Inglewood Public Library. My name is Ms. Dimitri and today I'm going to be telling you a couple of stories and some sing-along songs. Before we get started, I just want to let parents know if you have any younger children with you, any little bitty babies with you, we encourage you to put your children through the motions so that he or she can grow up enjoying our story times and having lots of fun. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna do our first welcome song. It's called Wave and Say Hello. So let's all stand up. Here we go. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. Now we're gonna clap. We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. Now we're going to stomp our feet. Here we go. We stomp and say hello. We stomp and say hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and say hello. Good job, everyone. Have a seat. And so let's do a quick focus song. We're going to do our open shut them with our little fingers. Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, do not let them in, in, in. Good job! Give yourself a good hand. Good job. Well, here's the first book that I want to share with you today. It's called Taking a Bath with the Dog and Other Things That Make Me Happy, written and illustrated by Scott Minchin. And this story time is read with permission by Candlewick Press. Thank you so much, Candlewick Press, for allowing us to share these stories online with our library users. Taking a bath with the dog and other things that make me happy. I miss your smile today, sweet pea. What would make you happy? Oh, she looks a little sad, doesn't she? I don't know. What makes you happy? Taking a bath, says the dog. She asked the old man, what makes you happy? Counting, looks like he's counting the rings on the stump of a tree. What makes you happy? Running around. He's on a spinning wheel, going round and round. What makes you happy? Shoes. Looks like lots and lots of shoes, doesn't it? Let's count how many he has real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shoes. you happy? Playing with my hair. Oh boy, and it looks like she has lots of things in her hair. Butterflies and bows and lots of cute things. What makes you happy? Digging. What makes you happy? Stripes. He's got a striped jacket, a striped hat, striped trousers. He's sitting on a bench that looks striped. And guess what? He has a kitty cat that's striped also. What makes you happy? Sleeping upside down. And of course, we all know this is a bat. What? makes you happy. <gasps> Smiling. Does that look like the moon? Looks like the moon to me. Hmm. I'm thinking. Sweet Pea, here's smiling. 
smiling. Did you find out what makes you happy? Yes. I'm happy when I tickle my baby brother, jump rope, bake cookies with faces, ride my bike, chew peas one at a time, make a wish, stay up late, paint on eggs, make faces, hold my breath underwater, stick finger puppets on my toes, sing, slurp spaghetti, look at my reflection, dance with my shadow, play dress up, sit on my dad's chair, blow bubbles, drink tea with grandma, play drums, pretend I'm a monster, swim at night, lick sprinkles off ice cream, and I'm happy when I'm taking a bath with the dog. The end. I'm happy taking a bath with the dog and other things that make me happy. The end. Are you guys ready for another fun song? Okay, let's get our little fingers out. We're going to do the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Here we go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. And down came the rain and it washed the spider out. But out came the sun and it dried up all that rain. And the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the spout again. Good job, guys. Now remember, if there's a itsy bitsy spider somewhere, there has to be a great big spider lurking about, somewhere hanging around, just like the itsy bitsy spider. So if that's the case, then you know what? We have to get off our great big arms, and we gotta stand up and use our great big legs, and we have to use our great big voices. Here we go for the great big spider. The great big spider went up the water spout and down came the rain and it washed the spider out but out came the sun and it dried up all that rain and the great big spider went up the spout again good job guys have a seat have a seat now i have another fun story i want to share with you this one is called the very quiet cricket written and illustrated by Eric Carl and read with permission by the oh, <laughs> Putnam Books. Excuse me, Philomel Books. Read to you with permission with Philomel Books. On a warm day, from a tiny little egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so, she, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed the locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so she rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping his huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. crunched a worm munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed and rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada clinging to a branch of a tree. 
The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. How are you? hummed a bumblebee. Flying from flower to flower, the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Quirred a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket, and she too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time, and this time, chirped the most beautiful sound she had ever heard. The End, The Very Quiet Cricket, written and illustrated by Eric Carle. Let's do one more stretchy song before we close up our story time. This one is a head and shoulders. It's a little different. So follow along with me so you can learn the words. It's very simple movements too. Here we go. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Pat your belly and wiggle your nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. One more time. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Stretch your arms, look how tall you can grow. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Last time. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Now clap your hands and around you go. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Wow, that was such a great job. Good for you. Glad you are learning and staying with us at story time. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I am so glad you tuned in to watch our story times and continue to do so as we present more interesting books, more fun books, more fun songs. Before we leave, you know we gotta do our teddy bear goodbye song, okay? So, we gotta get our clapping hands for this. Here we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, clap up and down. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach way up high. Now, teddy bear, teddy bear, wave. Goodbye. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, to receive more information about our library's online sources such as ebooks, audiobooks, movies, um, also educational uh, resources for families, children, please visit our library's website at www.cityofinglewood.org forward slash 787 forward slash library. Thank you so much, and we hope to see you again. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.